All right, what's up guys? Real down and dirty video for you, but I finally figured out how to adjust the idle on a fuel injected Yamaha XT250. Okay, first thing you gotta do, this is the lean, uh, there it is, lean sensor angle, lean angle sensor. Um, there is a row of three wires on the bottom and one wire on the top top being this side here, not this side here. There's a <clears throat> green wire. It's kind of hard. Green, mint green wire. It's by itself on this left side row. If you're looking top down, I guess. Anyway, it's just parked there. If you pull the plug out of the housing, yeah, I'm doing a terrible job. If you pull the plug out of the housing, there's no pin up in here. So that wire is just sitting there. It connects to nothing. If you ground this against the frame, then you can cut that switch off, hold down the select and the reset button at the same time, turn the key on. Now normally that gets you into diagnostics mode and in this case, it will still get you into diagnostics mode. Um, Give me a second. All right, so you're in diagnostics mode. All I did, switch off, hold both those buttons, flip the key, and you have to wait like eight seconds. Then, once you get that, once you get that, you hold down the select button with that wire grounded out, and you'll get this CO. Then, hold down both buttons again, you'll get C1. Hold down both buttons again, you'll get this. This is the RPM counter. If you crank the bike, you'll see RPMs up here. And then this, you can adjust down or up. And one number here roughly equals 10 RPM up here. So I felt like my bike was idling a touch high. And when I came in here, it was set to zero. So I've just dropped it. 50 RPMs. Um, I would do all this with the bike running for you, but holding the phone and everything, it's, it's too hard. Flip the key off and turn the key back on and go back to the settings and that setting will remain. Um, all I did is unbolt the lean sensor angle, lean position sensor, um, and then took that wire held it to a bare spot on the frame and did it that way. And then once you get into the first CO menu, you can stop holding that wire ground out. You don't need it anymore. You can go through all the settings um, with that wire just hanging in midair. So that's how you do it. If you have a European market bike, uh, that wire is already grounded out. So you can just go through the button processes and do it that way.